Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show how to recover some disk space that is being used by Wondershare Filmora. I have been using this Wondershare Filmora software for quite a few years to create YouTube videos. I have used many other tools, but when it comes for the video editing, I prefer Wondershare Filmora. And uh, lately I observed that on my D drive, only 88 GB is free. It is a one terabyte drive. So out of one TB, only 88 GB was free and it was getting lower by each passing day. So I went through and found out that Filmora software was using about 60 to 70 GB of cache data. So I'm just about to show how and from where we can uh, delete this cache file so that we can recover those disk space. So let's get started. I have opened my explorer and you can see that 88.7 GB is free as of now. So let's open it up and then under the documents, I have to look for this Wondershare folder. So let's see how much of space this folder is occupying at the beginning. So I'll just click on properties. And it shows that 68.8 GB has been occupied by the Wondershare software. So let's see what are the folders that we can delete. Let me just click on OK. Open up this folder, Wondershare Filmora. All right. Now the first folder is backup folder. And you can see it is occupying a size of 804 MB. Let me open it up. So what actually happens is that when you are working on a project at every defined interval that is 5 minute or 10 minute depending on the interval that you have defined Filmora is going to keep taking a backup of the project that you are working on. So these backups are not needed if you have closed or saved your project properly then these backup files are not needed so I'm just going to delete them. Right. Then let's return to the Filmora folder. Now the second folder is the output folder which is this one. It is already empty in my case but in your case if it has any of the output or any of the exported videos that you have created from your project then you can either delete them from here or you can move them from here. There is no point keeping them here. Then returning back to the main folder. The next folder is projects folder, this one just below the output folder. Let us see how much space this one is occupying. All right, it's already empty because I have cleared my uh, folders and cache and render files just recently. That's why it's empty right now. But in your case, it might not be empty. So you can open it up and delete those files from here as well. Then let's return back to the main folder. Then the next folder that we have to look is this folder that is proxy. And you can observe that it is occupying 46.6 GB of space in my case, even though I have cleared all, all these folders just last week. So let us let me open it up. So these are the proxy files. So when we are working on a project which is containing videos which are of very high definition then in that case Filmora is going to create proxy files for easy rendering on the application so that you can work easily without any lag or delay. Then while you are exporting the final video Filmora is going to use the original videos with the high definition so you don't have to worry about those things but these proxy files are used only while we are doing the video editing just to speed up the process so, and once you are done with the project you don't need them you can delete all of them right away even if you need them later Filmora is going to create those proxy files for you as and when it is required so it's safe to delete all of them then the next folder is the recorded folder and you can see since I am already recording a video that's why it's showing here as a temp file otherwise if you have any of the recorded files here in this folder which you are not going to use then obviously you can delete those files or if you are going to use them then you can move them from here there's no point keeping those recorded files in this folder and let's return back to the main folder then the next folder is this render folder 
and you can observe it is occupying 16.6 .6 GB of space. Now coming inside this folder, if you look at this folder that is render cache, it's, it is empty because it is deleted automatically. Then the next folder is dot render and this one is the main culprit here. So we can just select all of them and then delete them. One of them is not going to be deleted because it belongs to the video that I am recording right now. So we can just skip it. Then let's return back to the main folder. Now after these folders, you can also look for this snapshot folder. This folder contains the snapshots that you might have taken during the project. If you need them, you can use them. If you don't need them, then you can clear those files up. So these were the folders that you need to uh, clear up for the space. There might be many other folders which you can clear, but you will not get as much disk space as much as you can get from the folders that I have showed. So let's return back to the main folder and check how much space it is occupying right now. And now it is occupying near about 5 GB only. I have saved a lot of space on my computer. Let me return back to my PC and now we have 107 GB. Clear the recycle bin. And now let's open the PC. And you can see it shows 152 GB of free space now. Earlier it was 88.7 if I recall correctly. And if I subtract 152, that means I have successfully restored 63 GB of space from the Filmora Wondershare folders. So this was one method. This was a manual method. The second method is by changing the settings in the Wondershare Filmora software. So for that, you can just open up the software and then click on this file. Then from here, you have to click on this preferences option. All right, now under this performance, click on this performance tab and under this performance tab, you can see we have this preview render. Now you can choose this option, automatically delete render files when a project file is closed, which means the render files are going to be created when you are working on a project but as soon as you close the project those render files will be deleted automatically which means you don't have to delete those render files again and again but the trade-off is that your Wondershare Filmora software is going to create those render files again and again when you start a project so it's going to be processor intensive task so it, it depends totally upon you if you can clean those folders up once in a week that is totally fine that is a manual method and this is going to fix it permanently you can just turn it on like this and then the second option is this proxy automatically create proxies when media resolution is higher than full hd that's what i was trying to explain whenever you are working on a project which contains videos which have the resolution which is higher than full hd then proxies are going to be created by Filmora Wondershare software and you are going to work on the proxies only so that it can speed up the process of video editing but while you are doing the final export of the video the original video is going to be used for creating your final output so here in this case also you can see automatically delete proxies when a project is closed if you turn this on then the proxies will be cleared as soon as you close your project so it's going to be processor intensive task because every time you open the project the filmora software is going to create those proxies for you again and again so this also depends upon you if you can clean those folders once in a week you can keep these settings off just like this just like the way i'm having it but that's totally upon you i leave that judgment on you so that's all for this video i hope you were able to learn how to clear those folders and which folders to clear and how to get back or reclaim those disk space which have been utilized by Filmora Wondershare software. So if you like the video, don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.